this video, I bought a glorious Model O clone for only $14. So, there has been lots of Model O clones listed online, but there was this one that caught my eye. There were some videos that showed how much CPS they got in Minecraft, but there weren't any actual reviews of the mouse for Minecraft, so now I'm making this video. I ordered it and it finally arrived today. Was it good? Watch till the end to find out. Also, please click the subscribe button. Please, please, please I just need, I need subscribers. Okay, so right now I'm in my PC, I got the mouse hooked up, also set up my webcam so you guys can see. So this mouse is actually called the Techware EXO Lite. There are three versions of the Techware EXO, which is the EXO Lite, the cheapest, the EXO Plus, which is a mid-range one, and the highest end one, which is the EXO Elite. So the main difference between them are their sensors and also their switches. Also, the EXO Plus and Elite have the bounce time options, unlike the EXO Lite. So you can't really drag click or butterfly with this very well because, you know, you can't really change your debounce time. So, first impressions, I think that it's really good because this is actually only $14. The RGB lighting is just really good. The switches too, they feel pretty good. Now for the CPS tests for different clicking methods. Um, First, we got butterfly clicking. I get around 10 to 12 CPS-ish, which isn't very good since this mouse actually doesn't double click. For drag clicking, it's not very good too. Um, I can get around 10 C oh wait no, this is like 7 CPS or 8. Yeah, it's not very good for drag clicking too, but you can still normal click. I can like normal click around 9 CPS, 8 CPS average, which is really good for normal clicking. And with jitter clicking, I can get like 14 CPS average, 13, 14. But I can't really aim very well with jitter clicking since I'm pretty new to it. But uh, yeah, let's now hop into some Skywars. Okay, hello. We are now in a solo Skywars game. Pretty epic. So if you notice anything different from my webcam, it's because the recording from earlier was actually like a day before. Like I recorded that yesterday. Because I get pretty lazy when making videos, sorry about that. Okay, some guy just rushed me. Probably feels like that he can kill me or something, but of course not. I'm very crack at this game, as you can see. I'm pretty much just in 2.0. Okay, well, I probably won't win this game, but let's just hope we can. So, about the mouse, the sensor actually isn't great. I noticed that it wasn't performing very well. Okay, yikes. Uh, I, oh my gosh, I can't hit him. I am so dead. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, as you can see, the mouse isn't performing very well. I can't aim very well because of my mouse pad, but also because of how bad the sensor is. I see some people that, and they say that it, the sensor isn't really bad. So maybe it's just a defect with my mouse. So yeah. So here's what happened. Uh, when I first got the mouse, I... Well, obviously I used... Oh. Okay, so I obviously used the mouse when I first got it. And it performed terribly. The sensor was just really bad that time. And I realized that it was just my mouse pad. When I only use my desk, like, without the mouse pad, it performs perfectly fine. But with the mouse pad... It was pretty crap. So, I cleaned the mouse pad and it solved the problem a bit, but it didn't fix it entirely. It was still performing pretty bad. So, just like now, as you can see, I can't aim very well. Okay, I'm gonna fall definitely. Oh, bro. This guy's lagging. Okay, let's go. So, it didn't perform very well, right? So, I cleaned my mouse pad. It didn't seem to fix the problem that much, but 
did perform better. So I ordered a new mouse pad. Not this one though. This mouse pad was like one year old. Okay, I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, come on. But I really don't think that the mouse pad was just a problem because my old mouse, it worked perfectly fine. Oh man. Let me get this guy first. Bye bye. Let's go. Got a Nemo, but I, I don't really care. I don't really use the Nemo. So, my old mouse, the Fantech X94, which is another budget mouse, it worked perfectly fine with my dirty mouse pad, even though it was dirty. So, yeah, I really think that it's just the mouse sensor that's not very good. So, but I can't really complain since. It was only like 600 pesos or 14 dollars and that was pretty cheap to be honest so can't really complain you can't really get everything with a 14 dollar mouse let's get this guy i think this is green okay oh no oh no why do you keep jumping so in the end would i recommend this mouse well uh yeah it depends if you're a Okay, I should really stop commentating while playing Skywars. So, would I recommend the mouse? Well, it depends. If you're a jitter-click type of guy or a normal clicker, then this is the mouse for you. Especially if you like lightweight mice and also if you're in a budget, then this is the perfect mouse for you. It's pretty much the poor man's glorious model O. Um, since it's $14, you subtract like two click methods because yeah, it's cheap. But if you have more money, I would probably just buy like the XO Plus because you can change the debounce time and I think there's only like a $5 difference and it's way better. So uh, yeah, I think I should end the video here now. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more content like this. So um, yeah, subscribe.